You wanna see something cool? The following program is rated CFFA. Cartoons for f***ing adults. Hi the kids. Also known as Chelsea Bells, depending on where you see me. Hey everyone, this is Olga Gopta Phoenix with Movino! <laughs> so let's get the show on the road! Greetings! Thank you all! I'm honored to be here sharing the stage and competing with you. Let's compete with everything we've got! To all of you here in person and all of you watching on television, I hope you enjoy the show! Welcome back! It's been a while, hasn't it? So let's get into another Pokemon the series anime and Masters X comparison. And we're we speaking about Drake, the Elite Four member of Hoenn. I am Drake of the Hoenn Elite Four. Let me see if you truly know what it takes to be a trainer. Vanity Affair! Perhaps Drake's most defining personality trait is his smugness. Actually, Drake is sure of himself and disregards anyone who doesn't believe in great power as he does. Drake is very competent and compelling in both his dialogue and battle style. His personality could be compared to that of a veteran sea captain. I'm one step closer to my goal! And there you have it! Looking out for number two! Drake is a powerful trainer who believes by emptying one's mind from idle thoughts. One can prevail in the battle. And he also despises people that steal Pokemon. We're looking at you, Team Rocket, as they take people's honor. Still, he respects strong trainers and sometimes invites them to a ship. He's a member of the Hoenn Elite Four and ship captain who has sailed all over the world. Drake has an entire crew under his command and his first mate is Fitzwilliam. In his debut episode, after witnessing Ash and his charcoal defeating another trainer, Scizor, because of a type advantage, Drake met Ash and his friends at a restaurant and invited him onto a ship. And once on board, Max asked Drake to show him so his Pokemon. But Drake invited Ash to have a 3-on-3 three -three Pokemon battle with him instead. Drake won the match easily, helping Ash realize that he had been overconfident recently. When Team Rocket attempted to steal Pikachu after the battle, Drake blasted him off with the Selenence, which is the final evolved form of Bagel. And after Ash took his Pokemon to Pokemon Center, Drake invited the group to dine with the chef. And during the meal, Drake told Ash that he had to become um, well, two other confident ones in the last many battles because of it. And he explained that he eventually found concentrating on the match of freeing himself of idle thoughts was critical to become a strong competitor. After such a long time, Drake reappeared in looking out for number two, assisting Ash and Go finding a Kingdra for Go's Project Mew trial mission. In exchange for them and helping out in his treasure hunting in the hobby, as well as investigating a sunken ancient slumber And Drake is stopped stern and deep in conversation, which allows him to think clearly during a battle. And he takes the time to observe his opponent's strategies, and he challenges out of the box trainers like Ash. Drake is, is dependent on which Pokemon he selects. For example, his Altaria's wings help it evade its grand snake attacks, whereas his Shellgon's high defense makes it ideal for tougher opponents. He 
just played Kamiya Fury of Fire against Team Rocket for attempting to steal Ash's Pikachu and show no mercy when he sent out his Solomons to punish them and rescue Pikachu from their clutches, demonstrating Drake has zero tolerance for Pokemon thieves. And there you have it! Thanks for that, Jim. And now you know why Drake is different between this series and games. And Brian and Edward, if you're watching this, we're glad that your character saw Ash catch a beat Leon, and he is the best like no one ever was, and he is wishing luck on his journey. Good to see you! It's now legal to use your meme! <laughs>